I'm Grant Howard, president of the Howard Group. And for more than three decades, I've been investing in micro and small cap companies, have created and run and managed two limited partnerships or small funds, and pretty much seen everything that can occur in the sector. And every once in a while, you run into a company that excites you about the future. Let me tell you about Global X and why I feel it can gain a billion dollar market value in just a few years, or 30 times its current market value of 35 million. Any currency I'll be discussing is US. Investing in airline stocks just makes sense as the world emerges from COVID lockdowns. The pent up demand for travel is at unprecedented levels and especially in the United States nearing pre-pandemic levels. The anticipated growth of the industry is staggering. The International Air Transport Association, IATA, expects air travel revenues to account for 498 billion of total industry revenues in 2022, more than double the 239 billion generated in 2021. Global Crossing is the fastest growing charter and soon to be cargo airline in North America. It only received approval from the Federal Aviation Agency to fly just over a year ago. And amazingly, it achieved profitability in the third quarter of 2022. If you believe there's merit in owning a piece of a business versus quick trading flips on highly speculative trust me companies, then spend a few minutes getting to know the Global X story. You'll see there's been remarkable fundamental growth that management and the Global X team have delivered in a very short period of time. Importantly, the company has a clear and publicly stated growth plan for the next several years. In short, management has performed, which micro and small cap investors know is a rarity in the world of emerging companies. Consider the following facts. Global X took to the skies in August 2021 with an Airbus A320. Just a year later in Q322, it had seven aircraft, achieved profitability on revenues of over 30 million, almost 65 million for the first nine months of 2022, and management forecasts at least 90 million for the year. All this was achieved for only $20 million in equity raised in public financings and $6 million in debt. Management's astute moves have kept the share structure tight with just over 53 million shares issued. Try and find another new airline that has accomplished this feat. In fact, try and find another new up and coming publicly listed company on a Canadian or US exchange that comes anywhere close to these accomplishments. Management's forecast fleet size by the end of 2023 is 14 passenger and nine cargo aircraft and 25 of each by the end of 2025. Run your own numbers and draw your own conclusions on the presumption management hits its targets. They've done an admirable job of delivering results to this point. Speaking of management, check out the bios of CEO Ed Weigel, CFO Ryan Gopel, and other members of the team, directors and advisors. It's always about the people. Let's put some context around what was and what is and ask if it makes sense. Global X's market capitalization as of this writing is approximately 35 million based on 53.3 million issued shares trading in the 65 cent range. In July 2020, the market capitalization exceeded 100 million with shares trading well north of $2. It's a head shaker, but the market put a much higher value on the company when it was a concept. Ask yourself what should happen with the value of Global X when the inevitable day comes that market stability returns and the micro and small cap segments once again come back to life. Most junior companies were pummeled in 2022, but then again, Amazon lost a trillion dollars in market capitalization. NASDAQ listed Sun Country Airlines, which is similar to Global X, but much larger, was trading between 38 and $42 a share in the spring of 2021, equating to a $2 billion market capitalization. By October 2022, its stock had fallen to just over $14. 
No company is immune when the broad market doesn't know which way to turn. Right now, people are deflated. But the many factors impacting market psychology is a discussion for another day. However, it's a reality that a person's headspace has everything to do with to buy or not to buy. That is the question, with apologies to Shakespeare. As an aside, the Howard Group has been running a digitally focused program targeting retail investors for Global X over the past few months. Approximately 8,000 people have registered for Global X based on demographically targeted ads appearing on the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Financial Post, and a variety of other sites. Without question, there are a lot of new eyes on Global X. But what's clear is that while many are watching, most are not yet seen. There's an important distinction between the two terms. And to sum up things, CEO Ed Weigel recently said, Global Crossing Airlines is the fastest growing charter airline in North America. We are profitable and we project over 90 million in revenue in 2022. And then there's this ad. Profitable with seven aircraft, imagine with 50 aircraft. Now to be upfront, the Howard Group is compensated for communication services by Global Crossing Airlines. We are not registered investment advisors. This is not investment advice. And we are shareholders. 